I was 11 years old the first time I felt the ground shake. My instinct was to leave. But my grandparents wouldn't hear of it. This is our home, they told me. We don't leave. I came to live by that code. Earthquakes, tsunamis, typhoons, they're all part of life here. We accept them. We don't leave. When the evacuation was announced, I rejected it. This wasn't our way. Then I saw them. And I understood. This wasn't another disaster. This was a war. I always wanted to be a cop. Thought I could do some good. But the scum on the street kept destroying lives. While I was wrapped up in red tape. Shackled by senseless laws. virus stripped all that away, left us to fend for ourselves, and finally, the chains were off. Growing up in Tokyo, either became a salary man, or you were a waste. If you asked around, it's safe to say I was the latter. They said I lacked self-control. That I shamed my family. So my father sent me off to relatives in the States. Turns out, Americans care a lot more about earnings than honor worked out fine, until the Zeke showed up. The Japanese decided to evacuate. They didn't have the firepower to fight. But I had special skills. So when everyone else was leaving, I went home. Nobody expected a nine-year-old girl from Tokyo to be fascinated by guns. Nobody imagined a 22-year-old university senior would drop out and train for the biathlon. Nobody believed that the daughter of a salaryman could win Olympic gold. Nobody predicted that a necrotic plague would decimate our planet's population. But life is all about the unforeseen. And nobody saw me coming either. <laughs> 